Hello. Hello. Hi. Good to see Good you. Good to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> it's an old tradition, and I love um, hearing you speak in German. I need a little bit of uh, this off on my camera, so please uh, allow me to talk to your German. Wie geht's Ihnen? Uh, es geht gut, danke. Vermissen Sie Deutschland? Ja, uh, yeah, aber ich uh, komme hier, wann ich kann. Uh, ich war hier vor drei Wochen jetzt, um, weil ich, uh, uh, ich wollte meine uh, große Tante Besuch machen. Was ist das meiste, was Sie in Deutschland vermissen? Uh, Familie. Um, ich mag Essen, uh, so, also uh, Sauerkraut mag ich gern, als, uh, Schnitzel auch, uh, Bratwurst. Uh, und die Leute auch sind uh, sehr um, uh, geradeaus, sagt man. Na, straightforward. Gerade nicht. Uh, letzte Frage noch zum Thema Deutschland. Um, man sagt ja mal, die Deutschen, die haben diese Prinzipien, Geradlinigkeit, präzise, very precise. Spüren Sie davon ein bisschen was? Hilft es in London? Uh, es hilft mit der Arbeit, glaube ich. Uh, wenn ich arbeite, ich, um, uh, ich komme mit um, sehr... Um, focus, ich weiß nicht, was das heißt in Deutsch. Um, konzentriert? Ja, um, und das kann sein, das ist von meinem Vater, uh, er ist Deutsch. And uh, looking at this great stunt scenes, uh, how many did you do by your own? How much are you allowed to do stunts by your own? And uh, how uh, important is it for you as an actor doing the stunts by yourself? Uh, well, it just helps with the illusion of what you're trying to create for the audience. So I, tr you try, I try to do as much as I can. You know, also there's professionals to do the stuff that uh, could be dangerous in terms of a lot of the big jumps. Uh, you know, if I twist my ankle or I twist my knee, that means I can be out of commission for three weeks. That costs a lot of money for the film. So in areas like that, I let the professionals do it. But certainly for, um, for the fight sequences, I would have done 95% of that. Mm -hmm. Did you get some cuts and bruises or maybe some broken bones? Uh, I got some cuts and bruises. Luckily, I didn't break anything. Was there maybe a very, very hard day on set for you? Maybe uh, just this rooftop running scenes or anything else? Uh, the hardest, uh, I guess, in the sort of regressions was definitely the auto de fe, uh, where we were sort of being burnt at the stake. It was just where we were filming was on a, a sort of island in Malta, just sort of off. Um, God, I can't remember the neighborhood. Anyway, it was a small little island and it was like a heat basin. It was so hot in there, and it was quite a technical sort of sequence of events that we had going there. We had fire, there was fight sequences, we, had, we were chained to the stakes. So that, that was probably the toughest. And how far would you go for a perfect action scene? As far as, you know, my talents allow and my training, and, uh, you know, uh, it's nice to be able to sort of prepare these things as best as you can. So as much as, uh, as you know, I'm allowed and my ability allows. I love replicas and props and so on. Did you maybe have the chance to get something from the set um, for you to bring it home? Or did you collect such, such kind of things? I didn't actually. You know, I feel like uh, I'm trying to sort of get rid of a lot of things in my life. Uh, so I, I didn't take anything from this. I do sometimes from jobs. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you are looking at all the science fiction movies that you've done, you told in the radio interview that you're not so much into science fiction, but you did Prometheus, you did uh, uh, The Next Alien Covenant, and uh, is there maybe some uh, fascination for sci-fi coming up for you, or is it just, just a job, like any, like any, any movie else? Uh, you know, I, I, I was a big fan of Star Wars, and I loved you know, the first Alien, so it was, a, it was very special for me to um, be invited into that world. Uh, but it's never been something that I'm, ulti you know, massively drawn towards. And is there maybe a role that you wanted to play in the future? Is there maybe something that you wanted to do where you say, okay, this, this, this is uh, all worth for all this hard work for the last years just to get maybe this role or this role? Is, is there uh, not necessarily, but I've always wanted to make uh, um, films about the Irish myths. We have Irish mythology, which is very, not similar to Greek mythology, but uh, it's, it's its own special kind. And I remember sort of reading and learning a lot about it when I was a child. So I'd like to bring that to the big screen. That's a producer too of this movie. Did you sleep better? Or did you sleep maybe, maybe, maybe more or less because you have so much more uh, things uh, to care about? Oh, um, I didn't sleep better. I remember I kind of, uh, the, uh, there was this, um, a time period in Malta actually when we started filming where I was sleeping probably about four hours a night. I don't know what that was uh, down to, maybe stress, 
but no nightmares because you're having the financial uh, thing to care about? Uh, you know, maybe a mix of both. Nice dreams, bad dreams. I can't really remember. I don't remember my dreams that much. Okay. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. And thank you so much for speaking German to me because this okay. is uh, amazing. Uh, People love it here. Okay, thank, thank you. you so Cheers. Much. Thank, thank you. you. Cheers. Thank you.